Hey guys, it's Ryan with AI Insider Tips. And in this video, I'm going to be mixing things up a little bit and talking about an SEO heist that I believe has gotten zero coverage from any notable outlet that pertains to AI, marketing, SEO. And I think this story is extremely important if you're in the world of marketing somehow, some way. Now, if you're in the SEO space in particular, there was a story written by Andrew Holland back in January of this year, and I actually had Andrew on my podcast. He's a very credible SEO space, and this was a great story. Uh, but this SEO heist is different than the SEO heist that I'm going to explain. This SEO heist um, was where this guy basically copied an entire website, used an AI tool to recreate thousands of pages of content, gained over a million visitors, told everyone, and then boom, graph goes straight down, Google came at him with a manual action. So that is not the SEO heist that I'm going to explain. The SEO heist that I'm going to explain is about this site that we all know called Reddit. So I actually talked about this on my LinkedIn. I talked about it on my Twitter account or X account, whatever you call it. Um, so be sure to follow me there if you don't already. I'll leave links in the description below along with everything else that I mentioned in this video. Um, but this SEO heist is actually pretty crazy that no one is talking about this. Now, Reddit, obviously everyone knows Reddit. Reddit is the biggest forum on the internet. They've become more popular than ever now. Um, and Google has gone through a ton of algorithm updates lately that have destroyed smaller sites. They've rewarded forums like Reddit, Quora, um, and also big names like Forbes. And there's Parasite SEO is rampant. We see sites like LinkedIn now ranking all over the place. Um, and so Reddit has been a huge beneficiary of these Google algorithm updates. So I'm on an SEO tool called Ahrefs and here is Reddit plugged in and you'll notice the traffic just skyrocket up uh, really starting in May of 2023. So almost about a year ago, uh, we've seen traffic skyrocket by over 500% easily. I don't have the exact numbers off the top of my head, um, but with an increase in traffic, of course, comes an increase in revenue. Now, I'm not trying to bash Reddit or say that Reddit's a bad site. Reddit has a lot of value, 100%. Uh, but now with its increased SEO success, we're seeing more fake accounts come in from brands and services, pushing products. People think these accounts are real. They trust Reddit. Um, so Reddit is now filled with spam as well. Here's another picture on SEMrush, which is another SEO tool if you're not in the space. Um, this is Reddit's traffic. So again, starting in about May of 2023, um, you'll notice how high it got up to the right. And this is due, here's all the algorithm updates here. SEMrush even points out. Um, and every single update from a year ago, Reddit has been a significant winner. Now, where does the SEO heist come in all of this? So Ver The Verge, and you can find this article on any major tech website, but this was written in February 22nd of this year. Uh, Google actually invested $60 million a year into Reddit, which will give real-time access to Reddit's data and use Google AI for Reddit search. So again, you can find this story really on any notable tech publication, um, but The Verge goes on to talk about here, Google is getting AI training data from Reddit as a part of a new partnership between two companies. It says, start providing Google more efficient ways to train data. Reddit CEO Steve Huffman spoke to The Verge last year about Reddit's API changes. He said, the API usage is about covering costs and data licensing is a new potential business for us. The partnership will give Reddit access to Vertex AI as well. Um, so yada, 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 you guys can read on here. But long story short, the important takeaway here is that Google is now investing $60 million a year into Reddit, right? And so I talk about this on this LinkedIn post. Uh, Google's investing 60 million into Reddit to let its search engine train its AI models with Reddit's user-generated content. Okay, that's great. Google invests in a lot of big companies. They invested in Anthropic, uh, which operates the Claude large language model. And they also probably invest in dozens of other companies behind the scenes that I don't even know about. Uh, but here's the kicker behind all of this. Reddit is actually going public on the stock market. So I'm sure if you're in this space, you probably heard about this as well. Um, so they're going to enter the New York Stock Exchange on March 21st. Uh, I'm on the Inc.com here. So it says Reddit will begin its pre-IPO roadshow Monday in preparation to begin trading on the New York Stock Exchange the following week. Meme Vice will price its initial public offering. And then it says it's reported that the company is targeting a debut price of $31 to $34 a share, which is in line with the valuation others have cited at roughly $6.5 billion. So, okay, so let's, let's back up again a little bit to make sure we're following along. So Reddit, SEO traffic skyrockets after these Google algorithm updates. 
Google invests $60 million a year into Reddit to use its AI models to train on its data. And this is per year. This isn't a one-time $60 million investment, which is still a lot of money, um, but this is per year. So it's not a one-time investment. It's a multi-year investment. And then right on cue, Reddit files for an IPO. So my question about all of this, like I prompted in my LinkedIn post, how is this legal? How is this not market manipulation by Google rewarding Reddit in the SERPs or search engine results pages, therefore traffic skyrockets, revenue skyrockets, and then they make enough money now to file for an IPO and we'll see where their stock price ends up, but maybe executives at Google are shorting the Reddit stock and making millions off that. I mean, who knows? Who knows what's going on behind the scenes? Um, but that, in long story short, is this SEO heist that I want to tell you guys about is how Google's investing in Reddit behind the scenes. Their algorithm updates are favoring Reddit in the search, which has resulted in, you know, a ton of traffic increases and revenue increases. And now Reddit's going public. So Google's $60 million a year investment will probably 2x, 3x, 4x. It remains to be seen, but they're going to get some ROI on that investment. There's no doubt about that. Um, so there's a lot of people here that I follow in the SEO community on Twitter. Um, and I want to show you guys this really quick too. So when Google announced this March 2024 core algorithm update, this was on March 5th, I actually replied. And this is what prompted me to create this video and explain my thoughts in more detail. I said, serious question. Will anyone be investigating Google for investing over $60 million into Reddit? How convenient that these latest algorithm updates have skyrocketed Reddit's traffic and revenue while destroying smaller sites with content that is actually helpful. And right on cue, Reddit is going public. How is this legal? How is this legal? I don't know. Someone please answer this question for me in the comments below. And I really hope this story is picked up by other creators, maybe potential websites, bloggers. Um, I feel that this story is extremely important that it gets out to those involved in marketing at the very least. So to cap off this video, I wanna show you some funny tweets uh, from some several creators that I follow just about these latest Google algorithm updates. Uh, there's a video here from Charles Float. He's a big guy in the SEO space. I would suggest watching this. I'll actually leave a link to this in the description below um, where he just goes on a complete rant about the March algorithm update, Google spam policy, how it's reshaping the SEO industry. And a lot of what I just talked about with this SEO heist with Reddit and Google partnership, he discusses that in this video as well. So it's a great watch here. Uh, Connor Schaller, shout out to you if, you're, if you end up watching this video. Um, he had a funny tweet here as well where he said, Google watching 90% of SEOs abandon their use of AI generated content, parasite SEO, parasite pages and expired domains without a shred of evidence that they can algorithmically detect and dissuade the behavior while using these techniques themselves. So I just think he, he's a character. You guys got to follow him. He just has some great tweets about marketing and SEO. Um, the last one too is Nathan Gotch. He's a big figure in the SEO space I follow as well. He said, Google did such a nice job of baiting people into thinking it's okay to use AI content for SEO. They knew what they were doing when they said this. So Google came out with this FAQ. I believe this was a previous update where it says, is AI content against Google search guidelines? And Google, this is straight from Google's website. It says, appropriate use of AI or automation is not against our guidelines. This means that it is not used to generate content primarily to manipulate search rankings, which is against our spam policies. Now, what's really funny about this is that Google is trying to say that we appropriation, appropriate use of AI or automation is not against our guidelines. But then in March, they come out and completely wipe out thousands of pages of websites. Anyone using AI, they are now attacking. So uh, I just thought this was very funny and, and a great tweet here from Nathan Gotch. It almost seems like they were baiting people to use AI content so then they could wipe them out a month or two later with another core algorithm update. So just some really interesting stuff here, guys. But that's all I had on this story about this SEO heist with the Reddit and Google partnership. Uh, I really want to know your thoughts in the comments below. If you're in the marketing world and you never thought about this, please share me your thoughts in the comments. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, if it provided value, be sure to like this video. Guys, also subscribe to my channel at AI Insider Tips. If you didn't like this video, be sure to give me a dislike so I know not to do more videos like this in the near future. Guys, stay tuned for more AI tips and tricks, AI tutorials. I have tons of videos planned in the near future, and I hope you all have a great day.